My name is Sally Kyes and I'm a math coach at Ida Price Middle School in the Cambrian School District. I'm Deb Negretti and I'm the principal at Price Middle School in Cambrian. I'm Suzanne McSpadden. I'm a math coach in Jefferson School District in Daly City. I'm Margie Trainer, and I'm a math coach in the San Carlos School District. I'm Linda Fisher and I work for the <coughs> Noise Foundation and I help oversee the testing and assessment program. And we use the lesson study <coughs> as a vehicle in our re-engagement. We had given a Mars task, which was a sixth grade task called Jim, and we had taken that student work, and from that student work, we had decided to uh, focus on one particular math issue that we wanted to address, and it was multiple representations of cost analysis and the breaking point. And so we, as a group, then decide to use the vehicle of lesson study as far as collaboration and teaching the lesson more than one time looking at our questions, looking at our prompts, looking at student work, student um, discussion around the prompts that we had done in class, and then to fine tune and those prompts in order to get uh, deeper mathematics from our students. And so it was a really valuable process of which we are continuing to use throughout this year uh, around that notion of cost analysis and different representations of cost analysis. So. Yeah, so I think I really appreciate looking at the tape to see how we have really gone that full cycle of, you know, looking at student work through assessment and then really using that assessment to go back in the classroom and think how can we teach in a better way. So as like the teachers I was working with were putting together their lesson, it was so interesting all the things that you have to think about when you go into a lesson like, you know, um, they were really spending a lot of time on the easiest part of the problem where I probably would have jumped to the hard part because that's what really intrigues me is the mathematics of that hard part. And they said, no, by really making them spell out all the thinking on that easy mm -hmm. part, then when they get to that harder part, you know, we will see much more interesting answers out of them and they'll be able to think about it more. So it was really nice to watch how that went from an idea about how to teach a lesson to then how that played out in the classroom. Mm -hmm. So it was really fun because, you know, we all have different perspectives and it's just kind of nice to be able to see the idea and then the actual reality. And I thought it was interesting just to kind of build on what you were saying that um, that easy part, because we had the same issue, was how much mm -hmm. time are we spending on this easy part, gave the students a common experience. So that when you were saying, when you were questioning a child, giving some, asking some probing question, they'd all had this common experience within this re-engagement that provided them some vocabulary to build on. And it also gave the teachers some something that they know had happened for that student to ask questions about. So it was very powerful for everyone to share in that kind of, not just building understanding, but maybe going back and thinking about, well, what is it that I really do know about this? And maybe never having thought about it before because you've already gone past that. But ha sharing that with everybody, making that thinking public, and then being able to build on that. And the teachers knew this is a point at which I can build. I don't have to go back and pre-assess or assess again what students may or may not know. We've had this this common experience that we can build on. Yeah, sort of like a leveling of the playing yeah. field. Yeah. So that everybody then has access into the later thinking. And it set up expectations for, uh, since one of the points we were working on was justification, it set up expectations for justification. So what is it, Will what will we be looking for? And since it had already been put out there, it didn't have to go, it didn't have to be an individual prompt because mm -hmm. it was now a class prompt to do that. I think for, for us and uh, reviewing the, the video of, uh, tape of the lesson, um, was just impressed with the powerful, um, uh, what it could do for really understanding student thinking and deciding on your next steps. We had the most wonderful conversation about what we saw the uh, the students doing in the in the video and things that we didn't notice during the lesson. We could then um, 
the uh, videotape zoomed on conversations that the students were having and then in looking at, at their work, we really realized that one of the missing pieces was the understanding of the vocabulary. We were doing a, a lesson that started with a number talk that um, looked at plotting the, the, the in and the out, out points on the graph and that was to then be connected with the growing patterns and hopefully that we would get the in and the out um, with the growing patterns and help them understand the different strategies that were being used and so on. But Two of the terms that were used, which we took for granted, thought that the students had understood what is staying the same and what is changing, meant very different things when we looked at how they actually were describing <coughs> what they were seeing in another student's work. This was a, a piece of the re-engagement back into the Mars task um, on buttons. And it was a growing pattern that um, they had taken the Mars task and then uh, the teacher as a, uh, to get them back into it, gave them some samples of two students that were, um, uh, that the, the work from two students, and then the job of the, uh, the class was to work in pairs and then decide uh, what they think that the student was thinking the pattern, mm -hmm. you know, how they were representing it. And when they were asked to draw, make a drawing for how that student represented it, it looked very different. Mm -hmm. And that's when we really understood, okay, what is staying the same and what is changing is not meaning the same things to them as we had thought. So it clearly out, outlined next steps, which was extremely powerful. So as people who've done a lot of thinking about these